Okay, so my battery died on my camera. So this will be part two of my haul. Um, we were working on Marisa's stuff. I am going to interlude with the one thing I got from TJ Maxx because I forgot to put that on the first video. Um, as you'll notice, I changed because it's been a few hours. I promise my dogs are inside. They're eating chewies in the living room. Anyway, um, so I have a bunch more stuff from Marisa's. Um, and then the one thing from TJ Maxx. And then we'll be done. So hopefully this one won't be quite as long as the last one. It was like 26 minutes and YouTube was like, oh, what is this? It's really long. So, again, I'm going to do the item from TJ Maxx first. Um, I normally don't have very good luck at TJ Maxx. The town that I live in, my TJ Maxx kind of sucks. Once in a blue moon I'll find something. But the TJ Maxx that I was at, um, there's actually a distribution center right there in that town. So I think that's why they get really good stuff. Um, for example, the very, very, very first pair of Uggs that I owned, I found there, um, they were actually mislabeled, um, so they were supposed to be $119.99, and they were marked $19.99, so you bet I bought those. They were a periwinkle blue, and they went with nothing, so I wore them with everything, because that's how I roll. So anyway, we were at that TJ Maxx, and I was looking for plus-size clothes, and I never, ever, ever find anything, like... Once in a while at that one, I'll find, like, seven jeans from Lane Bryant, um, but not very much. And then I kept thinking to myself, I keep seeing YouTubers find really nice dresses. So I turned around, there were all the dresses, but they were all small sizes. But then, poking out, I saw a couple of the little um, rings that go on the hangers. And I saw a couple of plus sizes, so I started looking, and they just happened to be on clearance. So I found this dress. It is from Calvin Klein. It's a sheath dress, but it's got nice little zipper detail in the front. Comes down. It's pretty straight. I actually have not tried this on, so I'm hoping it fits. It has the exposed zipper in the back. Um, again, this is Calvin Klein. I got a 24 because, again, with with straight dresses, because I bought them half bigger, I have to fit it, and then I can tailor the top part. Now, here's the best part of this. This has the original tag on it. This was originally $139.50. $140 for a dress. Now, my birthday was in June, and my boyfriend's mom sent me a $50 TJ Maxx gift card. Um, which I had not used. So this was marked down originally to $34.99, but then it was on clearance for $20. So $140 dress for $20. So here's the hoping it fits. I think that it will. Um, it's that Ponty fabric that I really, really, really like because it's thicker, so it doesn't show lumps and bumps, but it's still stretchy. I like that. Okay. So back to Marisa's. Um, this is the dress, this next dress is the one that I was going to show you in my last Marisa's video, not the part one, but the last Marisa's video I did uh, last week, and it was actually in the other room. Um, it is this mint colored lace sleeveless dress. It has a mint belt. Kind of a fit and flare again. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it a skater dress. It's close, but not quite. Um, it comes down to about my knees. And then in the back has this little little keyhole with kind of a mother of pearl button. And then it's got like elastic on it. Now, um, what I had done was, this is a size 22. I had bought the size 20 in the store, and it fit. But you can see a little bit of my stomach, and that bothered me a little bit. So I went ahead and I ordered a 22 and a 24. Not sure which one would fit. Uh, I think the 22 is what I'm going to stick with. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the 24, return it, or just stick it on eBay or something. But I really love this. Love this dress. So pretty. So there's that one. Um, and then... God. Oh, and that was um, $9.95. I had a price adjusted down to $9.95 on clearance. Next thing I got is another Bolero. It's one of those um, burnout tops. So you can see it's kind of burnout in spots. 
It's got a banded sleeve. Um, it does not close in the front, it's just an open. And just like that. And there's the back. It's got a seam running down the center. I got this in a size two. Originally twenty nine dollars marked down to twenty four ninety eight. So I got it for nine ninety five. Now this is what I was saying in my other video. If they go back to the seventy five percent off, I'll price adjust this because it'll end up being like six dollars instead. So I know it's only three dollars, but again, if it's multiple items, it ends up adding up. So Okay, next thing I got. Again, I have a lot, I know, and some of it will probably end up getting returned or given away or whatever. Um, this is a size three and I got this again, this was nine ninety five, so it goes on sale, I'll, I'll price adjust. But it's mint green underneath with a floral detailing. Um, cream lace at the top, like that, short sleeve. And the back looks exactly the same. has kind of a banded bottom, but it's not a tight banded bottom. So I don't like those because, again, my hips are bigger. Um, but, again, I paid $9.95. It's um, $29.98 on clearance, so it would be $7.50 if I can price adjust it. So two fifty dollars difference. Okay. And then the next one I got, I got two of the same shirt, just different colors. I got, of course, a mint green because what I like. And it has a little strap on the back, and kind of a dolman sleeve, rounded bottom. And it looks really short as I'm holding it up, but it's not. Um, this is from the regular size line. This is an XXL, so it was $6.95. And then I got the same shirt in a navy, same exact detailing, kind of the burnout pattern. Um, they also have this in like a baby pink. Uh, I may get it. I'm just, I'm not a huge pink fan. I like certain pink things, especially if it's like neon pink. I like that. But it's kind of a baby pink, so I may or may not go back and get that. And as I say that about pink, I have a pink sweater. <laughs> um, so again, these were from the regular regular size line, and they're two of the same. I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I like to buy, if I find something I like, I buy it in multiple colors my friend makes fun of me when I end up doing a closet clean out and I give her my clothes. She's like, oh, here's one, and here's another, and another, and another, and another. And so she kind of makes fun of me, but it's okay. So it is this pink sweater. It's kind of got um, some lurex going through it. Got this really cute little detailing down the center. It's kind of an open weave on the sleeve, banded bottom um, of the sleeve. Really cute will be really nice for this winter. It is, like I said, it's an open weave, so I'll definitely have to wear something under it. So I got that color. And then this is still kind of a minty green, but it's a little darker. But it's the exact same sweater. Same thing, the Lurex running through it, the open weave. And again, this is from the regular size line, XXL. So they were $6.95 a piece. And then back on the plus side, I found a mint sweater, and it's one of those kind of cross in the front. Obviously, I will have to wear something under it because it's very low. Um, Three-quarter sleeves, very, very pretty color, and this is another one that if it goes on sale, I paid $9.95, I'd get it for $7.50. So, I mean, you can, if you start doing the math, I'm a math teacher, so this is why I do these things. Uh, if you start doing the math, I mean, right there I've got, what, four items? So, I mean, we're up to 750 You know, add in all the other things that I've bought, it starts to add up, so. Okay, one more dress. Um, looks like this. Kind of a teal with um, a flower pattern going throughout. Has one of the little belts that comes with it. It's a chiffon. So it doesn't stretch very much. So I actually got this in a size 4. A 3 would have been fine. I actually tried on a 3 later on and really didn't see much of a difference. The only place that it's really big is in the bust area, and I didn't see enough of a difference with the 3 to make it worth my time to return it and rebuy it. So I will make it work. Again, I don't usually go sleeveless, so there will be something over it anyway. It does have a little bit of stretch in the waist, but not a whole lot. Again, the fabric does not stretch. 
Um, the size 4s and size 26 in pants, most stores don't carry in store. Um, the closest one to me that does is Effingham, Illinois, and they're a huge store. They're like second largest in the corporation. Um, they tend to carry some 4s and some size 26. Otherwise, you have to get it online. But they do have quite a big selection. I don't want to say it's huge. It's not as big as the rest of the stuff in size, size 4 or size 26. Um, but they do have some, so if you're that size, their 4 is considered, I think, a 26, 28. So you might look into that. Um, and there's no... Maurice's is a little inconsistent on sizing. It's kind of like Torrid. Most Torrid stuff I take a 2. Some things I take a 1. Some things I take a 3. I never quite know. It's the same thing with Maurice's. Most of my stuff is a 2. But as you've seen... The cat's scratching at the door. Um, as you've seen, I've had some things from the XXL and the core sizes. I've had a 4 in that dress. So it's kind of hit and miss. Um, so if you have a store locally, you should check it out. If you don't have it and you never heard of Maurice's, go to go to Maurice's.com and check it out. They, I compare them a lot to Tord. I mean, they don't really have, like, Tord has some edgy stuff from, you know, days, days gone past, uh, when they were Hot Topic sisters, they're still Hot Topic sisters, but when they were more like Hot Topic. Um, whereas Maurice's, as you've kind of seen, is more of the girly, dressy type. They do have, you know, burnout tank tops, or t-shirts and tank tops and things like that. Um, but I compare them. The closest store, I would say, would be Torrid. Um, they're, they're owned by Dress Farm, which also owns Lane Bryant, but they're like the, they're like the Junior Plus, but they don't have Junior Plus sizing, if that makes any sense. Okay. Now a little bit more. Um, the next thing I got, I debated on it, but, um, Jessica Kane, uh, if you don't know her, Google her. She's got a fashion, she's a fashion blogger. Um, she had this one outfit where she had a leather jacket on, and I'm sure hers was real. I don't have that much money. Um, so I saw this jacket, and they had one left. It's a size 3. It was originally $69, but it's a faux leather um, jacket. But I thought it was really cool on her, and so... I decided to go for it. Kind of got the, the little stand-up collar. Um, nothing really special about it. It does have pockets, which makes me happy. So I figure I'll pair this with some jeans like she did. But again, her name, name is Jessica Kane. It's K-A-N-E for her last name. And if you don't know who she is, she's awesome. Awesome. So check her out. And again, I paid $9.95 for that because it was on clearance. Okay, so everything else is jeans. Um, again, I love my silvers when they're ten dollars, not when they're a hundred. Uh, this pair, I don't know if it'll fit or not. I have not tried them on, but they are a jegging. And again, I carry most of my weight in my thighs, so some fit and some don't. Um, but these are the Suki jeggings. They look like this. And the thing I love about silvers jeggings is they have pockets. They don't have any little fake pockets because those irritate me. Because then I have to take it to my grandma and be like, Grandma, will you please put the pockets in me? And while it's fun, because she just uses leftover material she has, so some of them have, um, like, dog bones from when I worked at a vet clinic. Um, some of them have kitty cats. So it's kind of fun to see what she's going to use, but it's a real pain for her to have to do that. So I don't want to do that if I don't have to. But anyway, skinny, skinny leg. Um, and there's the back pocket. And these are a 24. They are 24 by 31, so the length will be right if they fit. Um, I don't know what the original price was. Probably around 80 or 90. They do have quite a bit of stretch for silvers. And again, if you have never had silvers, you buy them where they barely fit. You can barely button them, and then they stretch out about a size within an hour or so. So we'll see if this fit. If they don't, like I said, I can stick them on eBay or something. Get my money back. Ten bucks. Um, uh, next one, another pair of silvers, these are the Natsuki, Natsuki, N-A-T-S-U-K-I. These are supposed to have a higher rise and are curvy fit, which means they have a relaxed thigh and they're a bootleg. So we'll see, I've never had this style before. These are a 24 by 31, originally 90, marked down to 89.98, and then I got 10. 
So they're just a dark wash and boot cut. And again, like I said, their hems are always kind of distressed. They get really distressed when they're long on me because I walk on them. And then the back pockets, they're just kind of plain. So this is just kind of a plain pair. Um, you know, I li like I said, I like dark wash better than light wash. Sometimes I get light wash if it's on sale, but I prefer dark wash. Um, I actually got another pair of those in a 22. Uh, I'm constantly trying to lose weight. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So when I find them, I just go ahead and buy them. And then the last pair is my, and this is the last item I have actually. This is probably a really long video again. The other one was like 26 minutes, so YouTube's going to uh, hate me. Um, these are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite pair of silvers that I own now. Um, I wanted them when they came out, and I really seriously thought about paying $100 for them. And then I came to my senses and said, that's stupid, because they're $100. So when I walked in, um, and it was when they were running their 75% off, so they were $25. They actually had two pair, and I only bought one because they were $25, and I'm cheap. And then I kicked myself because then they went down to 9.95 the next day, and of course they they were already sold. But I was able to through my local store have them order it from another store, so I will have another pair of these. So these are the Suki surplus uh, sequin pocket. Originally, with the the retail price on the back, if they sell it someplace else, you can see it is a hundred and two dollars. Maurice's usually has a little bit under that, so I think they were 99. Looks like 99. 99 or 98. I can't quite tell through the tag. But they are. This, they're a dark wash. But they have the distressing that goes through. Leg boot cut. My favorite. But the best part of these jeans are the pockets. I. Love. I know that I'm heavy, fat, fluffy, whatever term I decide to use today, but I really love sparkles on my butt. So, that's what, you know, that's the whole thing. Like, I, I say I'm always trying to lose weight. When I say I want to lose weight, I don't mean I want to be skinny, by any means. I would like to be an 18. 16, 18, probably a 16, and I'll tell you why. Miss Me Jeans, well, you can't hardly find them, go up to a size 36, which is a 16, and I want some Miss Me Jeans really bad. So. I've come to the realization as I rewatch my videos that I make silly faces, I apologize, but I do that in real life too, so it's, it's just me being me, but that was my haul. I know that was a lot of stuff. And I keep promising you guys an ASOS Curve haul, and I will get that. I just am trying to get the right sizes on everything. Um, I've got three things that I have to send back now. One, they sent me the wrong thing, which really made me mad because it's something I really wanted, and like one popped up and I was able to buy it. And then the other two, one, I'm not even going to try to exchange the size because it was just weird. And then the other one, I ordered a size down, so hopefully it'll be here. But again, I'm new to this company, um, so, and there are another one. I've got something that I, some things that I ordered, I got a US 16, and some things are US 18, some things are US 20. The 22, I've just come to the realization that is going to be way too big for me, because um, I've tried it multiple times now, thinking, like, one of the things I ordered was a lace skater dress, it's red, um, and I thought, well, it's lace probably want to go up because I don't want to rip the lace, blah, 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 and it was just huge, so I'm hoping the 25th, if it doesn't, I'll get an 18, because even though it's got the sweetheart neckline that I mentioned normally doesn't look good on me, the color is amazing, so I will make it work, but, um, so I'll have, still have an ASOS haul, um, I just ordered some stuff from Tord with my hot cash, and I still have some stuff that I bought off clearance that I need to do that haul, um, so yeah, again, if you like what you see, subscribe, like. Again, if you have any comments, anything that I can do better, I know, again, I make the faces, I know I say um a lot, I don't mean to, and in my mind I say don't say it, but I say.
say it a lot. Um, but if, again, the, um, uh, anyway, if you have any comments or if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, or if you have any questions about sizing, especially like Maurice's, um, I know Cora from Vintage or Tacky. Ew, I love you. By the way, this red, thank you for telling me about special effects because I had tried every kind of hair dye to try to get my hair, like this red, this I'm hoping it shows up the way that it is. It's like stop sign red, like Hello, Marisa's. We're gonna put your red into my hair dye. But I tried all kinds and they all washed out and then I watched Vintage or Tacky again. Find her. She's awesome. Awesome makeup tutorials. Um but she was showing her her dyeing her hair and she said that you, she uses the special effects and it's the best one she's found. She's right. And if you go on eBay, it's like eleven sixty for a bottle. And for my my length hair and just having the highlights, it takes about half a bottle for mine. So eleven sixty for two times. So thank you, Cora. I love you. I'm not some creepy stalker, so and again, I'm not gonna edit any of this. I don't one, I don't know how, and two this is who I am. I'm I the self proclaimed dork. What you see is what you get. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already, watch part one. I've got a couple other videos and I'll be back shortly with a few more hauls. Have a good day.